This will be tutorial 24 of our social API application we've been building using Spring Boot. And in the previous tutorial, I was able to show you how to create a JPA repository, be able to access data from the JPA repository, uh, add data, delete data, and uh, also uh, uh, search for data. But now we are going to now do the same thing for our social API application we are building. And the focus is this. Let me just show you because this is what we are trying to achieve. Now we are not creating this database uh, in the data in the in the server. We are going to allow JPA to create it. We are going to simply write the code. It is called code first. So if you write the code, it will generate the database for you. So this table I created here, for sure we are not going to do it. We are going to simply use uh, the Spring JPA, Spring Data JPA to do this. And we are going to create this relationship along the line. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So let me close this and let's continue from where we stopped. So right now we are going to add JPA repositories for our social API application. So that will be we add a repository for the users for posts and for location. So let's go ahead to do it right now and then we go ahead to, to finish it up. I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so that you get notified when I make new lessons uh, in Spring Boot. So just click on subscribe so you get updated and also you kind of motivate me to continue making these lessons. These lessons are free. They are procedure based, meaning that there is this procedure for you in case you miss something all the procedures, all the code snippets, everything you need is provided for you in this website. And also the link is provided in the description box below this video. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to modify the classes. What it means to be able to use repository, we need to make some changes to the classes. This you already know because we did it in the student class. First, we are going to annotate the class with at entity annotation. We are going to tell uh, JPA that this class is actually an entity representing a record in the database or a table in the database. So let's open uh, the first one. We are going to start with um, the location, then we go to post, then we go to student. So the first thing we want to do is to annotate this class with at entity annotation. So just add at entity and that is what you want to do. Okay, so put your mouse there and press Control Shift O, and it's going to give us the, the import statement. Same goes for the location. So, not location controller, actually, location. So, I actually have done this. So, add that entity annotation uh, in the class. It also, finally, for posts, let me see. I think I also did this as well. Okay, no. So, so you add at entity and that is fine so just uh, put them get them both statement at, in java x that passes times all right so um let me make sure what of users let's see okay so we got we're going to add this as well all right so we're on track so the next thing we want to do is to Annotate the ID with ID, with at ID annotation to, to tell uh, JPA that there is a primary key and we are that primary key, we are going to tell it the column that is the primary key. It, the name of the column can be anything, but you need to annotate that column with ID. So for me, uh, the user uh, class, the ID field is ID, just ID. So it's sometimes best practice to also call it ID as well. Or if you call it student ID, user ID, or location ID, whatever you want, it's still okay. So in this case, the ID field, the primary key is ID. So what this means is it will ensure that the values that are stored in this uh, column or in this field will be unique value. So you can store the same items or duplicate items in this in this uh, in this place, and also it cannot be null. So by using this simple annotation, we are making it not null and we are making it unique as well. All right, so I'm going to save everything. Let's see the next step. 
add an empty constructor with no parameters yeah so this is example in this case of location class this is an example of an empty constructor with no parameter is also called the default constructor let me import this one so i've added it to the location so i'm going to add it to post as well so to add it you simply uh, just add the constructor public uh, post and then empty so that is it that, that, that is it so maybe i'll just put a comment to to tell you what it is uh, default constructor with no params okay and finally for user we are also going to do the same thing so you simply say public user uh, user and then complete so so these are default constructors so that we've set up the next thing we are going to do is to add jpa repositories we are going to add jpa repositories for location for users and for posts so i'm going to why do we have this error here so let's see okay maybe i've not saved okay it goes away so let me start with adding the repository for location so simply right click on the package and just say new are new and you choose interface so the name of the repository is going to be location repository you can also call it anything maybe location repo or something so finish let me just scroll down so that we see exactly what we are doing so i'll make it to extend a crude repository so simply say extend crude repository remember crude is crud not crude repository mm -hmm. so i'm going to just shift this so the next thing you want to do is to specify the name of the class and also the id the data type for the id so the name of the class here is location the data type for the id is string so maybe in real applications or maybe in production application it may be integers or auto number or something here we are using string so i've added location repository the next thing we want to add is uh, i'm going to add post repository so new interface and now i give it name post repository mm -hmm. and now now you can extend it right from here so just click on this add and just choose crude you can see crude repository here select it and just say okay so it's about the same thing so it actually has, uh, adds it for you only that you come here and specify uh, the class which is in this case is what is post and let me shift this backwards and the id key is a string the id data type the data type for the id is a string okay mm -hmm. so i'm going to save and then i'm going to the next thing now is to add a repository for for user because we've not added user repository so i'm going to right click on the package and choose new and select new interface and i'm going to call it user repository all right so here i'm going to also add interface from here i'm just going to call it crude repository that's the name of the repository that we want to extend and now we specify the the, the name of the class uh, in this case is is user right user and the id key is the id data type is a string okay so at this point we've created all our repository mm -hmm. So the next thing we want to do is to add crude operations for each of these uh, for each of these classes. Where do we add this crude operation? We will add it in the service. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to add crude operations for location service. Now you need to open the location service class, delete all the methods inside and replace the code uh, similar to the one similar to that in student service because we already did something similar uh, in student service before now so for instance if i open the 
the location service I'm going to open it so you can see a whole lot of code so we are going to actually delete everything here and replace it with uh, the, the, a different set of methods that actually talks to the repository I'm going to stop here and in the next tutorial we are going to continue with this operation I'm going to remind you to subscribe and also like this video or leave me a comment telling me what you think and what your challenges you have or maybe telling me thank you or something I will see you in the next lesson